But first, we're kicking things off today on the show with a style file topic nearly every woman can relate to. If you're craving a change in your hairstyle, but you're not quite ready to commit to a new cut or color, the answer might be as simple as changing your part. It sounds like no big thing, but it can radically change the way you look and be surprisingly flattering. And Studio 5 style and beauty contributor Megan Moore says every woman should do it. So you're a fan of this changing the part. Absolutely. This is one of the biggest things I recommend when I when I talk to somebody that wants to make a change but they're not ready for a big change like a cut and color like you mentioned this is gonna go a good long way to change the way their face appears and their features appear without doing anything drastic and something you can do pretty simply yes. as well yes yeah. well relatively sometimes there's tricky things and we'll talk about those a little bit more but for the most part it's a pretty easy change you put this challenge out to your Instagram followers yeah. and you got a huge response. It was so fun. So I put it out about a month ago because I see a huge difference in myself whenever I change my part. I'm like, oh, I needed that. I just needed a little bit something different. So here you can see me with a side part versus a middle part and it, the big difference that it makes on my face, even really though everything does. else is the same. And so I put the challenge out. Um, and with that, a lot of people said, oh my gosh, this is so fun. I've had so many compliments. People are asking me what I've done differently. Mm -hmm. But there are some challenges that come up if you've got bangs or if you've got a tricky hairline or a cowlick. So sometimes those things come up. So we're going to talk about a few ways that you can kind of adjust that today. And how often should you change up your part? It, if, it's a, it's, if it's an easy thing for you to do, you can literally do it every time you style. So uh -huh. maybe just once a week you could change it up. If it's more difficult, it may take more time. Like you may have to do it, you know, a month or two at a time if you have to train the part to go a different direction. It really does make such a difference. And looking at these pictures from your Instagram yeah. challenge, it totally changes the face almost. It's, I mean, it's crazy. And that was the hashtag that I chose, change your part, change your face, because it really does make a huge difference. And you wouldn't necessarily think that, but when you see all these people that participated, it's like, wow, that's crazy, right? And it's amazing what your hair will do when you just give it a little different direction yep. to go for. Yep, absolutely. Okay, so we've brought Sadie in today. Hey and Hi. Sadie, you typically part your hair on the side. Yes, so I usually part it just right here. Um, but sometimes if I'm curling my hair, I will part it down the middle because I feel like it frames my face a little bit better. Mm -hmm. But I do have a little bit of a, what were you calling it? A cowlick. It? A cowlick, mm -hmm. yeah. Yep, she's so. got a natural split right here where her hair just likes to split open right on that part line. So if we're gonna move it over to the center, sometimes it takes a little bit of coercion, mm -hmm. a little bit of work to get it there, but it really does make a big difference and change the way her, her face is framed exactly like you said. So what's the first step if you're gonna do this? So if you are gonna do it, you wanna work from wet hair. Okay. So straight out of the shower. Now, now, we're not going to make Sadie do that here on TV. For the sake of TV, we've let her come with dry hair. But if you work with wet hair, you want to get it going in the new parting immediately. So right when you're out. Okay. Exactly. Because we don't want it to have any chance to air dry going its old direction. We okay. really want it to start from the beginning. So we're going to part it off and get it going the right way. And we're really retraining exactly. this part. Because the hair grows out of the scalp a certain way and the follicles are used to bending away. So if we are to all of a sudden saying, hey, flip over the other direction, it takes a, it confuses them. They're like, I don't know what to do. So we gotta take a little, we gotta train them a little bit. It's kind of an uphill battle. But. Okay, so with the magic of, of TV here, we're gonna pretend that Sadie's hair is sopping wet. Yes. And what are you gonna do okay, next? Okay, so we're gonna start and we're gonna move her, her parting over just a little bit right into the middle. So pretend her hair was wet and we're starting to brush it, but you can see that it's gonna pop up right here a little bit out of, uh -huh. you know, cause it has that calic that it's not used to laying down there. So we would be taking our blow dryer and our brush and we would be working against that calic and combing it down in the opposite direction so that it gets used to laying a different way. And are you using a styling product to help get that? Yep, so some sort of styling product that's got a little bit of hold in it will be good. This one's one of my favorites right here. Let's see if I can get it in the shot. And this is the Living Proof. It's called Perfect Hair Day. Okay. And it just has a little bit of hold, but not too much. Because when we're talking about something around our face, we don't want a gel or we a mousse. something soft. Yes, something yes. soft, but we do need a little bit of hold. So that one's one of my favorites. So we would put that in, and then we would apply our heat with our blow dryer and our brush, and we would just work in the opposite direction to get that those follicles to kind of start to lay down and, and get used to laying in a different direction. And you took some video at home of you doing this with your hair, trying to get yes. the hair to go the other direction. Explain what you're doing right. here. Right, so my hair's wet here, and you can see that I'm trying to move my part the other way, so I'm using my heat and my blow dryer to get that hair to lay down in the opposite direction that I normally wear it. So this is going to just start to train it, and again, using that heat is crucial to do so, and we're going from soaking wet hair, getting it dried. 
Can you do this when you have a calic? Like, can you actually retrain the calic itself too? Yeah, it's always gonna, if it's a calic, it's probably always gonna grow out and kind of in that whirl pattern, but you can get it, you can trick it into laying down a little bit differently during the day. The other trick with calics is that I sometimes recommend asking your stylist to cut that area longer. So even if it's just a small oh. area, because longer hair weighs more. And so if it can weigh more, it will lay down a little bit better. So instead of going all the way the same length on that calic, give it a little bit more meat. So okay. if it's a bang, you may want to take it a little bit longer on that section because it's going to lay down better. Okay, good point. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so after you've retrained it with the blow dryer, then the trick is letting it cool. Yes, this is a big trick. This is probably the most important thing is letting it cool into place. So I love these little clips. They're called creaseless clips. They They're have so cute. Aren't too. they cute? They look like a little bow, but what it does is it, it um, holds the hair in place as it cools for about 20 minutes. It's still moldable after you blow dry. Oh, wow. And if you kind of mess with it, you can undo what you've just done. So if you put these little clips in, this is a great time to do your makeup. I even sometimes drive to work with them and then take them out once I get to work. Okay. If it's a really severe situation, you could even sleep in them because it's going to help hold it in place for the morning. So this, give it 20 minutes to cool down into place and then finish it with a little hairspray too and get those flyaways and anything down like that. And then once you've got it in place, you want to just leave it alone. The more you touch it and mess with it, the more likely it's going to want to go back to its old My home. hands like start going through my hair and then I'm like, dang it, I lost my part exactly. that I worked so hard for this morning. Yeah, exactly. So you want to keep the hands off. It takes some practice and that's part of the training too, is just getting used to it. It will feel different and you'll want to touch it, but the more you can leave it alone, the better it's going to work. Okay. And do you have a, is this your favorite hairspray here? Yeah, I love this one by Tresme because this one is again, it's a high hold. It's a four volt like level hold, which is nice. You can always see what their hold is down here, but it's not too crunchy. So again, around the, the face you don't want anything that's gonna feel too crunchy but okay. a good a good decent hold you're gonna need it when we're training something new and do you find that if you do this like a few days in a row yes. that it will start kind of laying that direction exactly it takes about a week of doing it okay. and you can spray it every day and restart if you don't want to shower every day but about a week of training and all of a sudden it magically becomes easier okay so it takes a little time yep. switch it up give yourself a new look without having to commit to the cut and yep. color that can sometimes be so scary. Yes. Hey, thanks, Megan, yeah, for stopping betcha. by, and Sadie for being our beautiful model. Welcome. We appreciate it. And we can get more details, Megan, where? Oh, at thebeautysnoop.com. Yeah. Okay, no beautysnoop.com.